Hi everyone, my name is Laura Brailsford and I'm going live here in the group to talk a little bit more about my work with uh, Tara and Gabriel. Um, so just a little bit about myself. I am a yoga teacher and meditation uh, instructor uh, and I'm also a jewelry designer. I make meditation jewelry, so malas and bracelets out of semi-precious stones and various other materials and uh, my goal in life is to um, really work on those businesses and grow those businesses and grow um, a potentially a, a coaching practice as well alongside that, in, incorporating the different modalities that I, that I use um, and maybe hopefully one day walk away from my corporate job, which uh, I've been sort of um, stuck in a little bit for, for some time now. Um, so I originally met Tara, I would say, maybe seven years ago, uh, we were sitting across from each other at a Women With Vision networking lunch. And I saw her and she was sitting there and I'm like, I need to work with that woman. And I didn't know anything about her. I didn't know what she did. Um, but I was just like completely drawn to her. And I'm like, this is, I, there's some reason I need to just connect with this woman. And it's funny because at the end of the meeting, you end up drawing a name to do a coffee, a coffee um, date with to just discuss business. And I think she drew my name and I drew her name or something. It was something kismet like that. Um, so it was super exciting. Hi everyone. Hi Franca. Hi Sophia. Hi Kira. Um, yeah, it was super exciting. So we ended up not even having that coffee date and years went by and I lost track of what she was doing, what she was up to. And then all of a sudden, Lori Bertoni and I actually uh, started this book club and it was a spiritual book club and it was called Not Your Average Book Club and we were looking for speakers and she said, well, what about Tara Antler? And I said, yeah, absolutely. I've been wanting to work with her forever. So she came to the book club and sat here and told us her story and told us about the book she had chosen for the book club. And I just sat there with my jaw on the floor the entire time and just, you know, completely trying to absorb every single word that she had and she was saying and any guidance or direction I was just like give me more give me more I was just so you know uh, in awestruck with her and it was shortly thereafter that she had um introduced a, a meditation circle a, a um uh an abundance accelerator circle and I quickly joined and I can say from that moment on my manifestation went from my manifestation skills went from two to a billion overnight um just everything i ended up manifesting uh, an awesome partner in my current boyfriend i ended up manifesting great amazing business with my jewelry i manifested um you know my yoga certification my how like just a bunch of different things that really just all started, started to fall into place once i started doing her meditation circle and it was through that that i was able to really find my path and as i said i've always been drawn to work with tara um but I really didn't know why. And, and it wasn't until I started doing her meditations and, and working with her uh, through these different circles and really just kind of grasping onto anything that she had to teach that I really started to see the results. Um, so Gabriel and I have had less work together other than, you know, some of the group work, uh, but I know them as a team and I just, everything that they do, I'm, I'm like, I'm in, I'm in, you, you say the word and I'm in. Um, so just to, to, you know, sort of speak to, whether or not if you're you know once again they're saying if you're sitting on the fence what should you do and i think that if you're here and you're in the group and you're listening and you have any interest whatsoever in working with them something has put you or something has put them on your path and i think you need to listen to that um uh, as i said i will move mountains to work with either of them because i just believe in their authenticity. I believe in what they have to say. I believe in how real they are. Uh, and I believe in how um, understanding they are of every situation, every person and accepting and non-judgmental. So um, another thing to testify to, um, to that point that I just made, I was working with Lori on um, a, a speaker panel and we were looking for solopreneurs and she was clearly one of the first people we asked because she's just so fabulous to work with. And even sitting there watching her, I, I mean, she just speaks from such a place of pure kindness and joy and love that, you know, 
you can't help be, but be drawn to her and be drawn to both of them. Gabriel's sitting there with the kids and, you know, they're just such a great team to work with. So uh, I'm just here to say, you know, I have seen incredible results in working with both of them. And I'm actually, you know, gearing up to hopefully work with Tara and Gabriel one-on-one -on -one in the near future to really capitalize on my own gifts right now and the benef and benefit from what they're teaching. Um, so as I said, if you're sitting on the fence, you need to take that leap. You absolutely just need to trust, trust in your heart, trust in your guidance, trust that there's a reason why you were put on this path and you absolutely need to just go there and, and do it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I don't know. I hope I answered anyone's questions or if anyone has a question or wants to, you know, discuss anything about, about what I've done and what I've done with them, I'd be happy to answer questions. Um, but I guess that's about it. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a wonderful evening and feel free to reach out to me if you have any other questions and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.